Good evening, everyone, or actually good afternoon here in sunny California. My name's Tyler of Chico Crypto Consultants. This is my second video today. I'm out here chilling in my pool. It's a very nice day here in Northern California. Um, 90 degrees. Not going to be too bad. It's hundreds for a little bit, but the coolness is coming. Well, to get to the point, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Red Pulse token, RPX, which is a smart contract company that is going to be launching their platform on NEO. It's the first one that's going to have a ICO on top of NEO. Um, it's going to be a great token, in my opinion. The first ones usually do pretty well. That's why I'm here to talk to you guys. I'm supposed to be your guys' investor relations person, so let's get into it. Right in front of me, I have the white paper. Well, actually, Red Pulse token, the ICO, is scheduled for early September 2017. So if you guys um, need some information regarding how to contribute to the ICO, any bots that are going to be set up so you can make sure your funds are going to be accepted and you'll get some of the shares in this. Um, what happened with a lot of the ICOs on top of Erethrum was the unfair distribution, which hopefully NEO can do something about, but we'll have to see. And I'll let you guys know all my information I find out. Um, recommend if you guys should invest based on the information I get. So let me get over to... white paper real quick sorry it's a little sunny out here I can see so to start us out for with the white paper it looks like the motivation for the company is China's economy is already the second largest in the world so in terms of nominal GDP however the market for investment industry participation remains incredibly difficult to understand and that's even true here in the United States the average Joe um, doesn't have too much knowledge on what's going on in the industry. So it's definitely something to look at. So it looks like this disconnects presence in a huge opportunity to platforms and services that can bridge this informational gap. This problem is made up of more challenges to solve by several critical circumstances. So the research content ecosystem, it looks like they're saying is broken in China. Um, it's probably pretty much broken here in the United States as well. There's a bunch of big players that dominate the scene. And um, in my information, a community-backed financial prediction market will be more effective based on outcomes and individuals because the big guys are I mean yes they have years and years of practice understanding but there are small guys out there who need the chance and it looks like the Red Pulse token is gonna be the platform to do that so it looks like there is lack of information accuracy and transparency there's an information overload and so their solution is a sharing economy for research um, it's going to create a groundbreaking research content platform that simplifies and identifies and directly compensates research producers for valuable insights while ensuring research consumers can access the research that is most relevant to them. So, I mean, it sounds like it's a kind of like a Steemit platform. If you guys know what Steemit is, it's basically a social network where users are rewarded for their content. Um, so it looks like it's a Steemit type platform that rewards producers of financial content. So let's read on. So it is a market intelligent platform covering China's economy and capital markets. It creates a global community, community around a common interest, incentivizing participants to produce truly relevant research and providing technology enabled analysis tools. Wow, so basically the problem that they're trying to solve is solving information overload.
So it looks like in the platform, independent and press research will be voluntarily contributed by industry experts, active investors, and market watchers, often filing the market coverage gaps that are left by financial communities focused on China through high liquidity or high quality analysis. So it looks like also they will have hypothesis and insight creation done by individuals as well as market experts. And it will also employ machine learning technology to highlight new market events that may be significant to both research consumers and producers. So basically it's creating the Steemit platform but for a market research company. So why a cryptocurrency? Um, Number one, it's going to sit, reduce frictional costs. Um, traditional methods of transferring capital using currencies such as USD and RMB incur relatively high transactional costs from 1 to 10 percent. So doing the um, frictional costs through a cryptocurrency is going to overall save a company money because they won't be required to pay those transactional costs. Also, it looks like it's going to create a system of record through the blockchain. So basically, all information that is put forth is going to be verified on the blockchain. And a record of this information is going to be created. And their machine learning can learn from prior market conditions to accurately predict what will happen in the future. And it looks like it'll also solve the cold start problem. It'll employ a cryptocurrency for open source research platform, solves the cold start problem. Convincing enough independent and the analysts and commentators to contribute to the platform while convincing enough research consumers, which are financial pros and financial institutions, to use the platform. Both content in both cases, one party is unwilling to, par par to participate if there is not an activity in usage by the other party. To solve this, cryptocurrency is used to immediately compensate research contrib contributors, therefore sending the platform with enough valuable content that would attract a critical ma mass of research consumers. So they want to issue their own RPX token basically to build a community which Steemit has proven that it is able to do. It also solves payment scaling issues and finally they'll be able to tightly manage the money supply which is a lot harder with stock markets. Um, very hard to manage the money supply. So the purpose of RPX is for research producers as we spoke about before, research consumers and other stakeholders. Um, investors, holders of RPX, both passive and active, on the Red Bulls platform will benefit from the inherent rise in the value of the token due to the rise in activity and transactions on the platform. So it looks like the token supply um, is going to be launched via an ICO with a nominal value of only 15 million USD, which is pretty low. Once it has been reached, um, inclusive of pre-ICO commitments, the sale is completed. Um, it represents 40% of the total RPX created during the ICO. The supply, so it looks like it's going to have inflation and proof of stake. So the s supply of RPX will increase over time with each RPX mining at a rate of 10% using the NEO blockchain consensus algorithm, which is awesome. Another thing built on NEO. Well, did you guys see NEO? Up to 25. It looks like they have something called the reverse split, and the total, total circulation of RPX will undergo a 2 to 1 reverse split at a, a planned interval of once per 10 years. This is to normalize the ongoing token creation at a rate of 10% per year. <laughs> and the tokens can be used as a form of payment on platform, so you can pay providers, consumers can, um, research providers can accept the RPX token, so it's basically building its own ecosystem for market analysis and market research. Very good idea. So the current platform, they actually already currently have 
um, a platform. So the already a working product. Um, they have data sources from multiple different areas such, such as regulatory announcements, government policies, corporate decisions, press releases, news articles, etc. So, it, I mean, in my personal opinion, the red pulse token is going to be worth a lot of money in the future. As the first ICO on the NEO platform, it's going to gain a lot of traction. There will be a lot of people. So as I said before, if you guys would like for me to help you out with any of the bots when it comes to the ICO, just leave me a comment and I'll be there with you from beginning to start. Thanks again, guys. It's Tyler Swope of Chico Crypto Consultants, and I'm off.